We're going to dig into looking at our Spotify music playlists with Tableau software. We need to start with downloading the Tableau software. So if you enter Tableau public into your search engine, that's going to bring you a list. Come on in there. That's where you need to go. Now you're going to be able to download the app. You're doing this. It's essentially a, a desktop app, but you'll need to enter your email address and it's probably going to uh, require you to go through a process of signing up for some kind of an account because you'll need that when you upload it. So uh, use whatever email, email you normally use um, for in this class, class enter that and then uh, download the app. Now I've signed up before so it's going to let me automatically do it. It may be a little bit different for yours. Just follow the steps that are necessary for you to download that and then um, go ahead and install that. After you've installed the data, what you'll see is that the first thing that comes up is this connect window that allows you to uh, go into uh, different types of data. So you can have files, which we're going to use in a uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Uh, there are other types of server data. Um, web data connectors is one way you can actually get some Spotify data in that way, but it's not the, the data that we're going to be using today. So there's, there's different ways of using data, but what we want to do is the Microsoft Excel. Now, at this point, I don't have the data there, so this is the, the next step that we're going to need to do. So uh, you're going to need to open a uh, spreadsheet or a um, browser and you need to go to the URL that I'm posting here. So this is the, the URL that you need to go to, sortyourmusic.playlistmachinery.com. And what this will do is it will allow you to log into your Spotify so that you can uh, get that. Now, if you don't have a Spotify account, you can choose Get Spotify and that will allow you to um, set up an account with Spotify and start listening to music and you'll be able to pull from the playlists as well. Uh, if you absolutely don't want to, don't use Spotify, don't want to sign up for an account, then I have put some sample data into the uh, course shell so that you can use that data as well. So there's sort of different ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to log in with Spotify and um, it already knows who I am. I'm already logged on. So um, then I get to choose a playlist. So what this sort your music playlist does is it actually goes to your playlist and it allows you to choose which one that you want to be. Now, um, if you're just setting it up, you're probably going to have discover weekly. You may not have any other. So you may have to uh, go in and add some playlists in order to do this if you're new to Spotify. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go in and you can choose a playlist and you'll notice that they correspond to the playlists that are in Spotify itself. So here I've opened up Spotify in the Spotify app. You'll notice that Discover Weekly is there, Noise, Nissan Kicks Fresh Mix, etc. So there's different lists that I've either subscribed to or that I have created in here that correspond to what I did in Spotify. So that's where this data is coming from. It and that's why you have to log in to Spotify. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into now. You'll notice this Spotify. Uh, they own this list, so I can go in and, and do that. Other ones uh, I own. That's not really that important. What does show you is how many tracks are in that. So you can choose to how many, you know, what which list you want to do. So uh, again, we've got a dimension. In this case, the name of the um, uh, in this particular playlist. The name is a metric. Uh, Discover weekly. The track count is a metric. It's got 30. The owner is a metric. It's Spotify. So I'm going to choose to go into Discover weekly. What that's going to do is it's going to give me um, a spreadsheet of data or a table of data about that particular spreadsheet. Now, what I want to do, I want to click just above the um, outside of the table and I want to drag all the way to the bottom and I want to go just to after the last 
um, piece of data. I don't want to come down here or that ends up in my data and then I'll have to clean it. So I grab that. I simply do a right click and I do copy. And what that allows me to do is I can go then to a spreadsheet and I'm going to do a new spreadsheet or a new workbook. And I just come into this first cell and I paste that information. And you'll notice it's the same information that was in there. Now what I want to do, and let me move this up so you can see it, the, uh, the name of the, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, the name of the playlist is Discover Weekly. So what you should do is give that sheet the same name as whatever is the name of your uh, playlist. So give it that name so that you know what playlist it is. Create a new sheet and then go back into the Sort Your Music. Go back, grab a different um, playlist. I'll grab Doc T's Mellow Mix this time. Again, same thing. Grab the data from the beginning to the end. And don't go past the end. This time I did a control C to copy. I come into the new sheet. And I want to rename this sheet. Um, again, keeping it the same name as was in the Spotify playlist so that I know what music I'm listening to. So Doc T's Mellow Mix. Um, then I want to go back again and I want to grab a third one. So I'll just grab something that's not owned by me in this case, Hangover Friendly. And again, I'm going to grab this. So grab three playlists or the content of three playlists. Now you'll see that I got out of the right place there. I'm going to try it again. Copy it. Bring it to the spreadsheet. Create a new sheet. Paste. And rename that one. What did I call that? That was um, Hangover Friendly. So I'm right clicking so that you can see what I'm doing here. I'll drop that up. Rename. Okay, so this becomes my, my workbook that has three different spreadsheets in it. So I'm going to do File, Save As. I'm going to save it to somewhere uh, where I can have access to it. And then we'll pull that up into Tableau in the next video.